Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So today we have a very important but a very small topic in uh, human anatomy. It is carotid sheath, which is a frequently asked uh, short note in uh, university exam. So let's learn about uh, carotid sheath. Carotid sheath, it is an anatomical term for the fibrous connective tissue that surrounds the vascular compartment of the neck. So it is a part of the deep cervical fascia of the neck. So deep cervical fascia of the neck which includes four layers that is the first layer superficial to deeper layer. So this is a superficial layer and this is the deepest layer. Okay. So superficial and deepest layer. The superficial layer is the first layer is the investing layer okay so the first layer is known as investing layer which uh, surrounds the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle so it sternocleidomastoid and trapezius that is the investing layer the second layer is the current topic that is a carotid sheath so which uh, encompasses the vascular region of the neck okay so this is the vascular region vascular region of neck the second or our current topic that is carotid sheath the third layer is known as pretracheal fascia which encloses the visceral regions okay so the third layer is visceral region of neck and the lastly the fourth facial layer is pre vertebral fascia which uh, surrounds the vertebral regions of the neck okay vertebral regions of the neck so the first layer investing layer which uh, surrounds the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle so it is a superficial layer the second layer is a vascular component that is carotid sheath the third layer is pretracheal which encloses the visceral regions of neck and the fourth layer is prevertebral fascia which surrounds the vertebral region of the neck. So the carotid sheath itself is an accumulation of three of the layers of deep cervical fascia. These layers include the investing fascia, then the pretracheal fascia and the prevertebral fascia. Okay, so, so carotid sheath has basically four major structures four structures in the carotid sheath okay so which are the structures the first one is common carotid artery and internal carotid artery okay this is common carotid artery and internal carotid artery then there is internal jugular vein and there is vagus nerve which is a 10th cranial nerve and also deep cervical lymph nodes okay and deep cervical lymph nodes so these are the four structures which is present in carotid sheath and the carotid artery which lies this is the medial side this is the lateral side anterior and posterior side so the carotid artery lies medial to the internal jugular vein and the vagus nerve which is uh, posterior to these two uh, vessels that is carotid artery and internal jugular vein so this is at a posterior position this is a medial position and lateral position and in the upper part this carotid sheath also contains a uh, glossopharyngeal nerve glossopharyngeal nerve the accessory nerve and hypoglossal nerve which pierce the fascia of carotid sheath okay so these are at the upper part okay at the upper part that is 9 11 and 12 so these three nerves piercing the carotid sheath at a upper position so the carotid sheath basically mm, fuses with pretracheal fascia uh, and investing uh, fascia under sternocleidomastoid okay so it fuses with pretracheal and investing layer underneath sternocleidomastoid and ansa cervicalis is present in carotid sheath over the internal jugular vein so that was about carotid sheath it's a very small topic 
only thing we need to learn the four basic layers of cervical fish of neck investing layer carotid sheath the pretracheal fascia and prevertebral fascia the first uh, layer is enclosing sternocleidomastoid and trapezius then the vascular component visceral component and vertebral component from superficial to deep layer and the main point is the four structures which is present at carotid sheath that is common and internal carotid artery common carotid artery and internal carotid artery then internal jugular vein vagus nerve and deep cervical lymph nodes okay and it fuses with pretracheal fascia and investing fascia under sternocleidomastoid and also ansa cervicalis is present in carotid sheath over internal jugular vein okay so that's about uh, carotid sheath i'll come up with in your topic in the industry and more thank you